As you heard earlier in the broadcast, the U.S. Catholic bishops voted down a resolution to encourage the Vatican to release documents regarding disgraced Archbishop Theodore McCarrick. The 88-year-old is accused of sexual abuse of children and seminarians. They debated the measure for half an hour. 83 voted in favor, 137 were against it. In July, McCarrick resigned from the College of Cardinals. He's living in a monastery in Kansas and is still an archbishop. Joining me now from Baltimore is Marjorie Murphy Campbell, founder of the Catherine Commission, a group of lay Catholics focused on the investigation of Archbishop Theodore McCarrick. Marjorie, welcome to our broadcast. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you for having me. You're a canon lawyer. You've written open letters to the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, and your writings make it pretty clear that you are angry and frustrated with these bishops. Why? The laity is crying out for information about how formerly Cardinal McCarrick rose to such a prominent position with our beloved American Catholic Church while simultaneously uh, abusing and harassing both what we now know to be a minor, settling two, at least two civil cases, and some long unaccounted for pattern of predatory behavior against our seminarians and young priests. What do you think they should have done? Yesterday they had an opportunity to, to vote on whether or not they were going to ask the Holy See, ask the Vatican uh, to release soon all of the documentation that they are able to, and they voted that down. What the common thread I saw through the proceedings over the last two days was that any lay involvement was met with very purposeful and some, sometimes planned opposition. Well, they're saying, in, in fairness to the bishops and to the Vatican, the Vatican is saying, hey, U.S. bishops hold off until February. Why is that not acceptable to you? Well, Cardinal DiNardo made very specific recommendations and promises to the laity with how he was planning to go forward. And they worked very hard as an executive committee to prepare for vote the lay-led commission to investigate, to take and receive and investigate bishop complaints. And that was derailed on the eve of the meeting. But what you're saying is you blame the Vatican here. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of blame to go around, uh, but I, I'm far more interested in finding results and answering questions and creating transparency than pointing fingers and blaming. What would you like to see change? Well, I think what we've seen over the last couple days is a brokenness in the collegiality of the Episcopal Conference that there is a cultural problem within the conference, and it's probably a cultural problem that is directly related to how the former cardinal rose through the ranks with complete immunity for malfeasance and sexual misbehavior. And that cultural issue is an issue that the bishops themselves have to solve. And what I think needs to be done now is that the laity who rallied so effectively, so prayerfully, and so loyally to support our bishops conference need to continue to support the bishops within the conference who are working on behalf of the American people and the victims of this former cardinal who was a sexual predator and support them in all their efforts to change that Episcopal culture. Marjorie Murphy Campbell, founder of the Catherine Commission. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Lauren.